what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to create this before and after color grading effect that i saw over on instagram so for this video you're obviously going to need a video clip which you've color graded so that you can show the before and after so let's get on to creating the animated color palette which is a main part of this effect the first thing i'm going to do is just add a marker where i want the color graded part of the video to show and then what I'm going to do is go up to my titles and generators tab up here on the left. And then I'm going to go down to generators and I'm going to search for the shape generator, which is this one here, shapes. So I'm going to drag this in over my video clip and then just trim the end to where the marker is. So I'm going to go up to the parameters and I'm going to change this from circle to square. And then I'm going to go down to outline and just get rid of the outline and also the drop shadow. And then I'm going to go back to my video parameters and go to the scale and just scale this down to around about there. And then I'm going to go to the start of the shape and I'm going to add a keyframe on scale. I'm going to move forward around around about 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to add another keyframe on scale and then just click the arrow to go back. Set this first keyframe to zero percent so now we have goes from zero to zero to eleven on the scale and then i'm going to go to the end and i'm going to count back 10 frames from the end and i'm going to add another keyframe on the scale and then go to the end or the last frame of the square and just put the scale down to zero so now we have the animation scale what i'm going to do is copy and paste this square so that we have five of them so i'm just going to hold down alt and click and drag to copy these and i'm going to make the timeline a bit smaller so you can see so now we have five of the same shape what i'm going to do is go to the top one click on the transform tool and then go up here to the position and just change the x position so that it's next to that square and then i'm going to bring up my video animation and then i'm going to go to around about halfway of the video clip and go up to the position and just add a keyframe on the position and then move forward to the second to last scale keyframe and just move this into position up here. So now if I play that back, we have it animating onto the screen and then moving up to a different location on the screen. So now I'm going to go down to my second shape and move this over next to the one we just did. I'm going to right click and show video animation on the top one. And on the second one, I'm going to add another keyframe in the same position that I just did for the previous video clip. I'm going to go up and add a position keyframe, move along to where I added the second position keyframe and move this to a different location where I want to show a different color of the video. And then I'm just going to repeat this for the rest of the squares. So now we should have something that looks like this, all the squares animate onto the screen and then go to different positions on the screen and then disappear. So now what we can do is go to each shape and change the color of them to match the colors of the color grade. So I'm going to select my top video clip which is this square up here. And I know that because it's got a little circle around it. And then I'm going to go to the parameters for the shape and I'm just going to click on fill color. And then I'm going to click on the color picker here and just select the color that's next to the square. So now the square changes to the color of the color grade. And let's do the next one. Let's go, let's select the next video clip, go up to fill color and then click the color picker, go to the square on the screen and just select color next to it. And then I'm just going to copy this process for the next three. So now we have the squares matching the color grade. If you're not happy with the timing of the animation, then you can always right click on the shapes, go to show video animation and just move the keyframes and this will change the speed of the animation. So now I'm going to copy and paste my bottom video clip, hold down the option button and then click and drag or just command C, command V. And then on the video clip above the copy underneath, what I'm going to do is go up to the effects and just delete my color grade on this so that we're left with the original video clip. And then I'm going to move to the part where the squares go into position and then start getting smaller. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to add a keyframe on the opacity and then move forward to where the squares disappear and just turn the opacity down to 0%. So now it will reveal the color grade and then like the video that I saw on Instagram, they changed the saturation of the before clip once the squares appear. So to do that, what you can do is select the video clip, go up to the color grade, go to saturation and add a keyframe on this. But to add a keyframe, we need to just move, move the slider on the saturation, which will bring up the keyframe button up here. So what we can do is 
add a keyframe here, move forward to where the squares appear and just turn the saturation down, which will change the video clip to black and white. And then finally adding the title, the before and after title. So for this, what I'm going to do is go up to my titles tab and just go to build in and out. And then I'm going to add a custom title and then I'm just going to drag that over my video clip and go up to the title section over here and just type in before. And then we can move the title by using, clicking it on the screen and just moving it, make this a bit smaller and choose and to fade this in, I'm just going to select the video clip, select the title at the start and just press command T just to add a crossfade for the title. And then where the color grade appears, what I'm going to do is just press B and split this title into two and then select the second part. And I'm going to change the text to after and then add cross dissolve in here by clicking it. Hold down command, press T. So now we have a little title as well. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect. If you want to skip all of the animation of the squares, then I actually created a preset for this, which you can drag onto your video and then just change the color of the squares. So I'll make that available on my website. I'll leave the link to it in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.